The following is a listener-supported ministry from the Grace Evangelical Society. Hello and welcome to Grace in Focus. This is a podcast broadcast ministry of the Grace Evangelical Society, coming to you Monday through Friday every week. Today we return to our question and answer format. Bob Wilkin and Philippe Sterling will be answering a question about the millennium and modes of humanity. More specifically, how will human life be propagated in the millennium? Will people have natural bodies? And what modes of humanity might exist? Wow, that'll be interesting. And we will hear from them in just a moment after I tell you about our website, faithalone.org. It is a great place to go for free grace resources. Many of our resources are free. Some of them have a cost. You will find hundreds of helpful articles, videos and blogs, and books. We are less than a month away from our National Conference 2023. That happens on May the 22nd through the 25th. You can find out details on our website, faithalone.org. And here's Bob Wilkin with a descriptive word about that conference. I really like this new venue we have for the annual Grace Evangelical Society Conference, Camp Copus in Denton, Texas. It has the advantage having all that we need in one location. So we have the dining hall, breakfast, lunch, supper. It has all kinds of recreational activities. The two hotels are just terrific, and people are sitting around talking and interacting, and the meeting rooms are solid. So I really like this Camp Copus, and it also provides us an opportunity to have vacation Bible school for young people. Thank you, Bob Wilkin. And friend, if you're interested in the conference 2023, May the 22nd through the 25th, get information and get registered soon at faithalone.org. Now, here is today's discussion with Philippe Sterling and Bob Wilkin. How you doing, Philippe? Hey, Bob. I'm doing good. It's yeah, it's great, great to be here. We were at Dallas Seminary together many moons ago. Uh, what year did you graduate? That was back in 1985. That's <laughs> probably two generations ago. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, I graduated in 82, so it is 40 years yeah. ago. But then I got my doctorate in the same year you got your THM, so I, I also walked again in, in uh, 85. So anyway, Philippe and I have obviously known each other for uh, 40 years or more during the time when we were at Dallas together. Philippe is the pastor of Vista Ridge Bible Fellowship in Louisville, Texas. I get a chance to speak at his church occasionally and enjoy that. And we have some questions today. Are you ready to handle some questions? Oh, let's give it a go. All right. (laughs) And by the way, this first one deals with something I spoke about, but it also happens to be something that Philippe has written about. I'll read the question. It's from KB, and KB said, you, speaking about me on a previous show, said that children who die would come back to Earth during the millennium, KB doesn't mention this, and get married and have children, but that's not what this scripture says. And the person cites Matthew 22, 30. This person quotes it as saying, at the resurrection, or most translations, I think, saying in the resurrection, people will neither marry nor be given in marriage. They will be like the angels in heaven. So there's a big misunderstanding on Matthew 22, 30, in my opinion. And you wrote three articles on two modes of humanity, which is an interesting topic back about 10 years ago in our journal, Journal of the Grace Evangelical Society. So you all can look it up and see the articles he wrote. But basically, in your three articles, you're you're arguing for what? Tell us what you mean by two modes of humanity. Sure. Two modes of humanity. First of all, in reference to the resurrection, believers, you know, of all the dispensations will be resurrected, given glorified bodies— and okay, wait a minute. We got to <laughs> got to clarify right from the what are dispensations? The dispensations are the different ways that God has administered history. In okay, essence, from Adam and Eve, you know, on to Abraham and the Israel, age of the church, and then the millennial kingdom. Each an administration of God, how He's administered His plan. Okay, now wait a minute. Are you saying people? that the commands of God change over time, and what was acceptable before might not be acceptable now? 
in or some, what used to not be acceptable might be acceptable now? In some cases, of course, of the matter of the dietary restrictions that the nation of Israel had. We don't have... Know, is, doesn't carry into the church age. You know, there was a vision that Peter was given by the Lord, you know, with all these unclean animals lowered to him. And God said, you know, I speak or kill and eat. And he objects to that. Right. And then, of course, God says, you know what, I have declared clean no longer declare to be unclean, but the dietary restrictions definitely change, you know, where we no longer have to abide, you know, by them as you also, believers. You also have a change in marriage laws. Up until the time of Abraham, you could marry your least half-sister. Yes. You know, obviously Adam and Eve's children married their siblings. Right. It isn't until you get to the law of Moses that you have the kinship restrictions that became standard after that. Yes. So the way God administers certain things do do change, you know, as you go from one period to another. Okay. So we're in a different dispensation or age now, the church age, and there will be a new one in the millennium. Yes. And a new one, ultimately, in the new heaven and the new earth, which then will continue from that point on. So the, the question is, you know, concerning the modes of humanity, There is, you know, for all who have gone to death and are raised back to life, resurrected, given glorified bodies, that is one mode. And that mode is similar to the resurrection body that Jesus had. Now, most people think that's the only mode. Yes. Right? That everybody in the kingdom of Jesus will be a believer from various ages who have been glorified, resurrected and glorified. But you're saying there's going to be people who are not glorified. Yes. And of course, that's true in the millennial kingdom. We know that, you know, in the millennial kingdom, we are glorified. We rule with Christ. But there are those who are living in the the millennial age, you know, who are natural, who do marry and and have children. The question is, you know, what happens then where they change to the new earth and the new heaven? Is it possible that God carries over a mode of humanity, which is still natural, but which is rendered incapable of sin from that point on of the new earth and the new heaven, but still are able to procreate and to give birth to children without sin nature, okay. as God had intended for Adam and Eve. All right, let's hold that for the next show, because I think we've got so many things in this one. But basically what you're saying is it's possible that not only in the thousand year reign of Christ will there be two modes of humanity, the glorified and the non-glorified. Yes. But that might be true. Forever yeah, on for the, the new eternal, earth. Yeah, yes, for the eternal state, for All the right. new earth. All right, we'll talk about that next time. Now, one of the verses that shows that there will be people in natural bodies during the millennium is in Isaiah 65, right? I think it's around verse 20, where it talks about if a person dies at 100, it'll be like a stillbirth. Yes, it'll be like a premature death. And it's very possible that during the millennial kingdom that people could live on to a thousand years, much like Methuselah. So they're going back to the pre-flood ages. Yes. Yeah. In fact, I think Isaiah 65 around verse 20 says their age will be like the age of trees. And there are trees alive today that were alive at the time of Christ. Yes. Bristlecone and pine, I think, which can be two, three thousand years old. Right. So we're going to see that people during the millennium will have natural bodies. They will have children. The conditions of the millennium period, of course, uh, Christ is present, and the curse, we can say, is partially lifted where animals no longer devour each other, you know, for example. In wellness, the body's ability to be well and to keep its wellness and health endures. Right, so you're going to have people who, even if they're in a natural body, are going to heal quickly. Yes. There are also going to be people who are going to be very reluctant to die. I mean, they won't die pretty much unless they are a person who is particularly evil, and then there's going to be Jesus' judgment. There will be a strict enforcement. Yes, and Jesus certainly talks about that in the Sermon on the Mount. Don't call each other fools because you'll be subject to the court. Okay, let's do real quick Matthew chapter 22 and verse 30. So let's explain what in the world that means. Because Jesus here is in a debate with the Sadducees. They bring up a conundrum, hoping to show that Jesus 
doesn't know what he's talking about. Right. They think they stopped him. And, of course, the Sadducees denied the resurrection. That's and, why they're sad, you see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so they come to him and ask him, you know, there's a man who dies with no children, and his brother shall marry his wife and raise up offspring for his brother. And they were with us seven brothers. The first died after he had married and had no offspring, left his wife to his brother, and likewise the second also, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and so on. So in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be? Right. And the conundrum is, you know, how can there be a resurrection? Yeah, they you know, think too. that disproves the resurrection, right. right? Right. So Jesus then says, you are very much mistaken. You really don't understand the scriptures or the power of God, of what God is able to do. In the resurrection, he says, they neither marry nor are they given in marriage, but they're all like the angels in heaven. And so the angels in heaven don't procreate. So then the implication is there's no marriage and no procreation. But the key here is what Jesus says. This is in the resurrection. So this concerns resurrected people. That would be mode yeah. one people. Right. But if there are mode two people, which we know there will be during at least the millennium, they yeah. will procreate, right. they will marry. And if those people go on to the new earth as well, then that would continue forever. Yes. Okay, well, in the next episode, we're going to pick up on the idea of the new earth and that. But I think the point here, KB, is what the Lord is saying is that those who are resurrected do not marry and procreate. But there will be people who are not resurrected, and those people will marry. We're going to talk about that more next time. In the meantime, let's keep grace in focus. The Zane Hodges Commentary on James, entitled The Epistle of James, Proven Character Through Testing, is available at discount to Grace in Focus listeners right now at faithalone.org. Get half price through April the 30th, 2023, when you use the discount code word JAMES. That's faithalone.org. Would you be interested in some free ebooks on topics you hear on this program? Well, if you are, you need to come visit us at faithalone.org. That's faithalone.org. On the site, we've got all kinds of free materials. But one of our popular options is our free ebooks on a range of subjects. They're designed to help you mature and grow in your understanding of the faith and scripture. So come visit us at faithalone.org. That's faithalone.org. We are so thankful for our financial partners who keep us on the air. Every gift is tax deductible and very much appreciated. If you'd like to find out how you can give, go to faithalone.org. Would you like to have a chat with Dr. Bob or one of the guests here on the program? Let me tell you how to reach out to the team. You can get us on our email address, which is radio at faithalone.org. That's radio at faithalone.org. On the next episode of Grace and Focus, we continue today's discussion talking about the possibility of more than one mode of humanity in the new heaven and the new earth. Come back and join us again for Grace in Focus. This is the Grace Evangelical Society reminding you to always keep grace in focus. The proceeding has been a listener-supported ministry from the Grace Evangelical Society.